This is an HG10 VFO that came out in about the, I think, late 60s or early 70s. Um, it does not have the original L3 coil in it, and uh, I spent a lot of time tr troubleshooting it, trying to find out what frequency it was on, and on 40 meters it was, a, it was on around 5.5 megahertz. I did add another coil in, and um, that helped bring it back, that brought it back in on 80 meters. The other band seemed to work fine anyway. Uh, I was told by one very smug, self-loving ham that I should not sell it without the original L3 coil in it. Uh, but i just given you proper notice, the original L3 coil is not in it. There is a coil that's in it, and I added another one to bring it on frequency. So, you can make whatever choice you want. Spend a lot of time on this. Uh, right now it's on 15 meters and it's showing at around 20, a little over 21 on the dial and you can see where it is. Uh, we'll go up to 10 meters and let's see where we are on 10 meters. That looks like about 28. Let's see where we Oh, I'm on AM here. That's not going to work out very good. Okay, that's around 28,563. Let me put the, the pickup coil a little bit closer. There we are. No, it's not closer. Hold on. Let's get it caught a little closer. There, it's the pickup so you can hear it a little bit better. And that's, whoops, sorry, I didn't mean to jostle you. And that's about where we are. Uh, we'll go down to uh, 20 meters. And let's see where we are. 21, is that 21.3? And that's reading a little over 21.317 around there okay now we'll go to 40 meters 40 meters let's see 40 meters and that's reading that's around 7160 and that's about what it's reading there okay now we'll go to the troubled band which would be 80 meters and uh, let's see where we are that's uh, 21. Let's see if I can find it. And that's reading around 3.9. And just to show you that it's tracking, I'm going to bring it down to 2137 over here. Is that what that is? 2137. And let's see if I can get this down here. I am changing the frequency on my KX3. Remember, it doesn't have the original coil in it on this band. And um, the smug ham told me I should not run it without uh, the original coil. Okay, and that's a little above 3.7, and so you can see it tracked uh, fairly decently. So, that's the HG10 VFO. I make no guarantees. There's a little bitty crack up here. I make no guarantees, whatever. Uh, but this is how it's working here today. And uh, you, can, you can see that. You make your own, you make your own choice.